I have here an LED grow light. I'm gonna go ahead and open up this box. We'll take everything out and then I'm going to show you what all it comes with and then try it out. So it's got a nice big manual here. It's got some wires to hang it with. Also some ropes that you can use to attach to those wires. It's got a data cable, power cable, and then the, the light itself here. So I'm going to hang this up. I'm going to use the included cabling. So for this one, you just attach these two wires, one here, one here. And then the same thing on the other side, and then it'll have the two ropes that will attach here, and then you can use the ropes to raise and lower the height. Okay, so I got the little Y cable attached. Now I'm going to attach the rope and the pulley here. And this is a little ratchet system, so it's really handy. So you can ratchet it higher, push the button, and lower it back down. So the ratchet system is really nice. You can see I've got it attached. If I want to raise it, I just pull up on this one. You can see it goes up. If I want to lower it, I can push the little button, pull it down, and then I can release it down like that. So this light has a professional three-stage full-spectrum light, which is going to help your plants grow really well. So this light also has a unique sunrise and sunset feature as well as a dimmer and a timer. So because this is LED, it's gonna be super energy efficient. And it also has built-in wiring for the lights themselves, which is gonna make it nice and neat, as well as a radiator to help with the heat dispensation. Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in and we're gonna see how well it works. So the light is super bright and you can see when it boots up the default, it just does a timer of eight hours. All of this can be configured just by going through the modes here. So you can change what band of light. So this one is the vegetative and bloom mode. If I want to go just to vegetative, I can. If I want to go just to bloom, I can do that as well. And then this one is both. So to change any of the settings, you're going to push the function button until the blue light is over the function you want to adjust. Then you adjust it with the arrows and then to lock it in or set it, you push the set button. So this one is dimming. I'm going to dim it to 50% now and when I push the set button, you can see it saves the setting. So the timer setting is going to be allow you to adjust how long the light is going to be on every day and you can go from zero to 24 hours the next one here the apt this is going to be essentially the time of day that you want the light to come on and it's always going to be in reference to when you started so zero hours would be right now and you can adjust that all the way up for 12 hours so if you want the light to actually come on in eight hours, you'll set that to eight and save that setting. And then it will turn on in eight hours and stay on for as long as the timer hours says it's supposed to. The last one here is the sunrise sunset. This one will kick in if you have it turned on 30 minutes before it's supposed to turn on and start slowly getting brighter. And then 30 minutes before it's supposed to turn off, it'll slowly get dimmer simulating the sunrise and sunset. So I'm going to set this up now for what I want. I'm going to be doing some little flowers. So I'm going to want the blooming mode. So I'm going to change this, save it. Now I'm going to go on. I'm going to make this full brightness. Let's set that one. The timer, I'm going to have it be on for 14 hours a day. And starting in about eight hours from now is when I want it to first start coming on. So you can see it immediately turned off because it's gonna turn on in eight hours from now. 
and I do want this to simulate the sunrise and sunset, so I'm going to turn that one on. So like that, I got everything set up. So starting in eight hours, it'll turn on and be on for 14, and then turn back off simulating the sunrise and sunset. So I've got the light turned on right now, and I've got some plants underneath here. You can see there's still a lot more space with this one light, even with these plants here. And it's super bright and going to help these plants grow really well. I'm just going to show you some of the different modes here with these plants underneath it. Just so you can kind of see, this is going to be the vegetative state mode. The blooming. And then this one's both of them turned on, so it's the veg and bloom. And then show you some of the different brightnesses as well, so you can see what you can do. 75%, 50%, or you can go all the way down to 25% brightness before it cycles back to full 100% brightness. So a really nice feature about this lamp is these LED diodes are actually manufactured by Samsung. So they're gonna be super high efficiency and have a very long lifespan. And it's a high quality and well-known brand as well. So another really nice feature about this lamp is that it, come, it comes with this cable and it has two ports on the top that you can plug this cable into. It has an input and an output and it makes it so you can sync a bunch of the lights together so you only have to program one light. So if you have an output going out, it's going to be considered the master and an input is going to take control from the master. So you can daisy chain a bunch of these and there's no limit on how many you can connect together, which is a really nice feature. So this LED grow light is super nice. It's really nice that it has the full spectrum of the light and that it's got all of the timer and the sunrise sunset features that you would expect out of a professional grade light. So I'd recommend this to anybody that wants to have a really nice high quality professional grade grow light. This one works really well and it's highly efficient and super, super bright.